Thanks. Thanks, Aiti. Namaskar. This is Dr. Alok Roy, again on our webinar series, Health is the Ultimate Wealth. Every week, every Saturday, we are here with you in 5.30 to 6.30 to discuss some healthcare topics. The intent is for you to stay healthy. And nothing like it talking to you repeatedly and telling you the various ways of staying healthy. All of us at some point of time would have experienced backache. If you have not experienced, you will experience. There is no life which has not experienced backache sometime in their lives. And many of us who have experienced many times in lives. There are many reasons why backache happens, but it is much easier to deal with it. It's not that difficult. And who could be a better person than Dr. Lakshmi Kantapati? Dr. Tripathi is our vice chairman. He's a very well-known neurosurgeon of Eastern India of national repute. And we thought that he should talk about what is the spine and what leads to backache. What is physiological? What is skeletal? What is muscular? What is because of the different areas of the spine? So today we have him with us. And with this, without wasting time, I'll request Dr. Tripathi to start talking about spine and backache. Dr. Tripathi, over to you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, good evening to all our uh, uh, attendees for this evening. I know this program is very popular, but uh, more popular is today's topic. And I'm thrilled to speak to mm -hmm. our audience about the backache. So there is a price to pay for everything. And no risk, no gain, as we all know. But rather than going about and discussing things, let us have a look at various aspects of the spine. And where, where, wherever there is a back, there will be backache. It's like we say, wherever there is a head, there is a headache. So, but doesn't mean that the backache should trouble us to interfere in our lifestyle and work and pleasure. Like you've gone on holidays, you have certain backache, then you're stuck. You're having a marriage in a family, you have certain backache, then you're stuck. So it is better to prevent such a situation than to have it suffer and go to the doctor, run around, especially when you go to foreign place, it is very difficult to get a doctor on time. We are very blessed here in Medica that we have a system which operates, which works like NHS and gives the help to people like the best health system in the world whilst catering to our local people with all the problems that you and me are aware of. May it be money, may it be location, may it be vehicle, may it be you know, how to reach the hospital, how to call the doctor. The mobile phones go on ringing every, every time if there is an emergency. So let us see, first understand what is the back. I will show you some slides. And with those slides, I will try to explain the problems of the spine and what causes the backache. So, the uh, now when we say back, it actually means from back, top of the neck, or just below the head till the tailbone. It can be in any part of the back. And so backache, neck pain, and then as you will now all know that from the spine, we have, we have different nerves coming. I will also try to show you later on, since we are uh, sharing the slide, the specimen, I have kept it here in front of me. Why there is a pain in the hand and leg from the spine? Because all the nerves of our spine, they come out from the spine, but they go to our fingers, our toes, our leg, our thigh. And 
friends neurology is like mathematics in fact medicine is mathematics when i was a student my mathematics marks were always 100 but people told me why don't you go to engineering why are you going to medicine i said no medicine is engineering plus because we are doing engineering on a human being the best creation of god in this whole wide world 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 it is more complicated than rocket we say rocket science but rocket science is nothing in front of because we only make rockets elon musk or anybody you name we we make rockets because we are human beings we have super brain so the spine also the spinal cord the nerves they are so nicely developed and but let me tell you friends the commonest cause of back ache is bad posture all the time we sit in the in the computer sit down in you know sedentary position and sometimes turning to left turning to right the bad posture is the commonest cause of the back ache and then sleeping as you all know that there is a position in which one sleeps comfortably but that may not be actually comfortable for the spine so i will tell you various tricks what to use during sleeping so that you will be comfortable in sleeping and don't wake up with a back ache many people come to us sir i woke up the other day and i couldn't get up from the bed i couldn't put my feet on the ground my leg was paining so obviously something happened in the night there was some problem before but must have been compounded in the night while sleeping because during that time we don't control your body in deep sleep and then people with prolonged standing like your maid or your mother or you know whoever whoever is cooking if there is a joint family they stand keep keep standing and cooking for whole day or somebody is walking for work so anything done extra will cause back ache like suddenly you lift any heavy weight i mean weight lifters are fine but everybody is not weight lifter so i saw today one patient from midnapur one doctor from london referred who was lifting 60 kilo of some iron steel stuff he is a flower decorator and during the decoration he was supposed to help in something and he lifted suddenly and he is actually waiting outside to get admitted and operated to, uh, on monday so he had suddenly lifted a heavy weight which was 60 kilo and then he had a massive slip disc so he cannot feel his bladder urine you can he cannot feel when is passing stool he cannot control his private parts functions so sudden weight lifting is very bad friends i have seen so many patients of back ache somebody will say yes sir we were shifting house we were, i was pushing the bed i was pushing the almira that time we don't realize but it is very dangerous and some professions of course are very difficult many of our surgeons you know they sometimes bend for their like dentists gynecologists you know endoscopists they bend in different angles so i always tell my uh, colleagues my surgeons my friends that do not bend while you are operating because neurosurgery sometimes when we operate on brain tumors or big brain conditions skull based tumors we can stand up i have operated up to 12 hours taking one or two breaks in between but that, that is very very bad for the spine and of course for your joints and then when you are getting up from somewhere suppose you are sitting on a low sofa suddenly get up god forbid you are obese suddenly you get a jerk and then you stop standing you stop walking you roll in pain and you come up to our emergency sir i cannot so many patients we see many times on trolleys coming here what happened sir yesterday i was doing this and then i cannot now get up please do something otherwise i will die so it's very severe pain and traveling lot of people travel trans atlantic long flights and so during the flights you have to get up move, keep moving on the aisles keep going here and there relax you so there are various things that i will tell you uh, in the course of our discussion friends if somebody is overweight 
and even even normal weight if you do not do relaxation or exercise then you are surely going to get back ache or pain from joints a part of our work 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 no play is you know all the time work no play is not good play means relaxation exercise physical exercise doesn't mean that you know you are running in the family uh, in the house house work is not physical exercise walk is exercise it may be brisk work or or treadmill or whatever some kind of physical exercise in the gym is very important to keep your back your spine your joints moving your muscles moving especially when you get older like me or dr roy we are not old but we are getting older i mean everyone is so we, I, i go to spend one hour in gym and uh, that is important dr roy is very fit he does some regular exercise so obesity is bad friends the bones can become weak due to various reasons many people have milk intolerance they do not take milk products they do not go out to sunlight they are all the time on the mobile phone on video games on computers you know nowadays how life is like i said in the beginning that there is a price to pay for everything we are yes we are growing up we are getting better with technology but at the same time we are losing few things and that is our health so friends please look after your health come what may with electronics we have to have also have the looking after your body so go out to the sun of course i am not telling you to go on the scorching sun but early morning evening and run around a walk take calcium supplements or if you do not tolerate milk or similar products so otherwise the bones become weak i mean normally especially ladies after menopause there is a known post menopausal osteoporosis we see so many elderly ladies in their 60s 70s uh, just you know at home they fall down and bro- break their spine and once there something is broken in the body to fix to bring back to normal working is extremely difficult to make something is very difficult but once it is broken to come back to the previous is extremely difficult that is called rehabilitation and for your information we have one of the best physical medicine or physiotherapy department we have various rehabilitation packages and including that for the spine we will not talk about anything else tonight maybe another time so osteoporosis so as calcium supplements uh, they told you other other things and prevention of injury the injury can be at home you know that it can be anywhere during your workplace in your work so especially in our hospital we have lot of safety standards every day we have safety checks every day we have ticks so we are nabs accredited hospital as you all know and we have to have certain safety standards otherwise the nabh will recognize us nowadays most of the modern well equipped hospitals they have safety standards now safety means safety of patients safety of doctors safety of paramedical staff safety of security people so how do we look after that also suppose somebody is working there is a construction going on in medical campus uh, those who, those of you come to visit us you see the cancer wing is coming up it will be almost ready very soon so a lot of people work around uh, with the scaffoldings and of course we have removed the scaffoldings now so you have to use the helmet and during traveling you must have seen posters of me uh, earlier i think we're going to put that again with helmets and seat belt so prevention of injury is very important at home and outside home and i'm not saying injury unfortunate injury road traffic accident is very uh, very sad in india especially because we don't uh, obey traffic rules but i am sure things are changing as you all see it will also change and it will also look better than the western countries so uh, injury is another thing for uh, injury doesn't uh, necessarily mean severe injury it can be mild injury also see friends pain is such a thing if you have pain anywhere like a little toe has pain then your mood is off you are not going to work everything comes down your spirits is down you, you cannot do the work best way because uh, having pain uh, having pain 
so prevention of injury is extremely important uh, to any part of the body especially spine because spine like we say backbone and backbone is very important because it's like the trunk of the tree if the trunk of the tree is not holding solid then the branches the leaves the fruits flowers what nature has created a beautiful trees it will all vanish so prevention of injury infection is another cause in our country tb many times we see tb infection so that can cause but these are all the serious causes of backache we will not concentrate on like spinal tumors we do micro surgery for tumors and of course birth defect our hospital is the only hospital we deal with the birth defects of newborn children with very high risk surgery for their birth defect correction in the spine called neural tube defects and this is called sishu sathi in whole of west bengal medica is only doing sishu sathi and that's a great social corporate health uh, whatever you can call that that is our corporate responsibility to the society and medica stands for our responsibility to society and none other than our leader dr ra himself he directs all these programs and regularly meets ministers and everybody else to make sure all the systems are in order so we we look after the sishu sathi then arthritis like in hindi they say bath arthritis are another thing usually we refer to rheumatologist these are serious causes of the you know spondylitis arthritis rheumatoid arthritis spond- and closing spondylitis so that is uh, quite common actually and that can cause so uh, if you have backache that is not going and persisting please do not suffer please seek medical help and see your general physician or uh, spine surgeons or one of us or uh, you know rheumatologist then we can look after it and of course with rheumatological problem you need lot of blood tests and then x-ray mri but needs to be looked at do not neglect it please and the last but not the least is psychological factor friends countries where there is social security program like i don't want to name countries because <laughs> they can go against me and uh, you know file cases so the countries most of us know they have social security program in there if you see the social security department in the morning there will be long queue to get weekly social security benefit allowances what they do they have little packet they go to the doctor and the doctor if he is not scrupulous will write down yes rest and that causes lot of work absenteeism lot of mayhem in the workplace and you cannot explain the person that look your backache is not serious so psychological factor is very important many people i don't want to go uh, against the uh, you know uh, common people but many people even with a small problem they say i cannot go to work i have been suffering with a serious infection but i come to work every day because what else of course you know if you are bedridden and you are not able to talk or see patients or what that is fine but then work absenteeism is not good but uh, it happens and uh, so that also is one concern so many times we are asked to give report sir this patient has been taking leave do you think is genuinely uh, has back pain so we look at the test x ray mri and examine the patient there is nothing but he says i have got back pain so those things are psychological of course depression is another thing that is nowadays after many bollywood stars and many famous people talk about depression people now openly coming about depression and taking help counseling or medication with depression also one feels a small little problem will appear big and again litigation like you had a minor accident on the road or a whip plus injury like suddenly neck goes forward and backward because when you suddenly break if the car in front of you or the vehicle stops suddenly then because your neck goes like this you get pain in the neck so you can go to the court of law and ask for compensation but our 
insurance system is not as good as it should be or in the western countries in western country if you uh, if the car behind is responsible the car in front is not responsible so the car behind rams into the car in front then they just, all they do they don't come out and hit each other of course road rage is there but they come out and take your number and they contact the insurance agent that and then they give the photograph and the location of the injury uh, the accident and then they get uh, insurance benefit because the car needs repair it happened to me once i was first time driving in england way back in 1993 i was uh, having a volkswagen passat car big car and i was driving in england as excited there was a lady driving in front of me and suddenly stopped i i, I had the distance so distance was not proper so i rammed into the back of her car of course fortunately we didn't have injury but then she took my insurance number and i my insurance agent uh, my insurance has to pay uh, the company so uh, we will talk about these things later so these are the causes now let us see what happens why do we need the spine because we need stability we have to stand in one place you cannot go left right center stability mobility we have to move we have to walk we have to run we have to dance we have to do various things for spine mobility and for that what we need is a flexibility and a range of motion range rom is very important when we have a patient coming first time to see us or back end, we see the range of motion what is the range of motion forward bending backward bending lateral left and right bending rotation so there is a normal range of motion like suppose somebody is not used to play golf he goes and suddenly goes for a big iron and hits and rotates his spine gets his spine ah like that and somebody has a genuine back problem he cannot bend forwards the moment you ask him to bend you have to be careful you have to say that stop when you get the pain goes like this ah like so that kind of cases the range of motion we say rom is decreased now so flexibility will depend on how much you do exercise how much you use your muscles and joints regularly not just sat in one place and range of motion also depends on your age your body condition your body weight and your musculoskeletal system musculoskeletal means muscle is muscular skeletal means bone in this case in today's uh, topic it is fine spine is the all the vertebra and all this as you can see i will see you the show you the pictures so it will be easier for you to see it from closer so this is what uh, i just showed you the model and the model we suppose we are looking at the spine from the left side this is how it looks so here we have to uh, see that i'm sure you can see my pointer that uh, this is lumbar spine so this is where the low back ache comes from so l means lumbar 1 2 3 4 5 5 and this is what we call is a tailbone which has two parts sacrum and coccyx now this is a coccyx is, is a bone that sometimes people come with pain in the right in the bottom of the bottom you know very difficult for them to show the area and most of the time you can fix the pain sometimes they fracture if the angle here is very uh, odd and somebody falls on to something so this is in the midline in between the two uh, you know gluteal areas right in the middle so coccyx pain is very difficult because you cannot see it anywhere many times even without fracture you can get a coccyx pain called coxalgia and if you use cushions because it is too pointed it can really give you a lot of pain in the back side and and you need cushions and you need to get up don't sit for long time etc etc and some posture correction so that is lumbar 1 2 3 4 5 and this is sacrum this is called l5 s1 
Now, these are the areas I will show you. This is the disc. This is the vertebral, but this is the bone, skeletal. I am not showing any muscles here. We're starting from bone, skeletal. So this is bone and this is disc. Disc is nothing but a fibrocartilaginous structure. It means it's like a string. You imagine this as a joint and the, the, all these are moving. When you are dancing, you see how beautifully the dancers dance, especially the belly dancers. They move all the time, their back, forwards, backwards, the left, right, twist. So the dance mostly depends on this movement of the lumbar spine. There are joints here, the vertebral body in the uh, top and the bottom, they have a joint here. It's like two hands. It's called facet joint. Lot of pain comes from there in elderly age. And this is where the slip disc, this is where the spinal cord. So this is the back side. This is the front side. That is why I said this is a picture from the left side. This is normal lumbar spine model from the left side. Now, suppose you see, look at the spine from the top. Normal lumbar spine from the top. But from back side, this is the back. See the spine. This is what you can feel during, if you feel some, somebody else, or you can also feel your in the midline. This is middle line. This is left side, this is right side. And this is the main vertebral body, uh, the main chunk of the spine. And this is one vertebral body. This is one segment. We will come to motion segment shortly. This is vertebral body. So this is bone, you see. And this bone, these are two types of bone, solid bone and trabecular bone. And the solid bone becomes slowly, slowly, slowly less with age and with less of calcium. This is where spinal cord stays. Spine is nothing but giving a complete protection to our beautiful, the best creation of God is human being, but in human being, the best is the nervous system. The brain is the crown jewel of the body and spinal cord is a big cable of the body that carries all the impulses from and to the brain, the master. So this is where the spinal cord and the nerves are. This is the side transverse person and these are the facet joint I told you. It joins the top and bottom together. So I'm just showing, I don't want to, now look at this picture, beautiful picture for you. This is where the nerves are going. This is, you see all those, it's like cigarette box. You look at the cigarette packet from the top, it will look like this. And these are nothing but the nerve roots. We have taken a section these are the nerve roots and these are the nerve roots coming out one at each level one at each level each level means there is one vertebra above one vertebra below there is the disc and the nerve root comes out you see and this is called a neural means nerve foramen means hole there is a hole otherwise why would the nerve come out how beautifully this is constructed this is mathematics we have to say which nerve is this. Once we say this is what vertebra, what vertebra. L1, L2, so this is L1. If this is L2, this is L2 nerve root. So there are numbers given. And I will show you the beautiful picture, what these numbers mean. Because you don't want to do a wrong operation. Suppose somebody has a slip disc here, and you by mistake go to this, then you left the bad disc, and then you damage the normal disc which is double criminality or failed back syndrome. So this is a beautiful picture of the spine, the lumbar spine with the nerves inside. Beautiful nerves. When I see the nerves, I get excited because I'm a very passionate neurologist, oblique neurosurgeon. Now, this is a disc. Center is nuclear. This is the jelly we call jelly, you know? But this is the strong, Cover it's like coconut. This is the coconut shell, and this is the inside beautiful white coconut that goes the best fruit in the world coconut and mango. Mango is seasonal, but coconut is non seasonal. Round the clock, round the year. So, this only problem is if we do not look after this annulus, which is tough fibrous structure, like fibers, fibers, fibers. Suppose it breaks here. If this ring breaks, this ring, 
annulus means ring. This ring breaks here, what will happen? The nucleus, which is it's like toothpaste. If you open the toothpaste nozzle and press the toothpaste, what happens? Paste comes out. The toothpaste like jelly comes out here. This is, I told you earlier, spinal cord. And this side, the nerve is going in the foramen. So once this jelly comes out, it will catch the nerve here and get the frame. So I can show you. I don't know. My model is broken. I have to fix it with some screws. Here, the jelly is there coming out and catching this nerve root. We have to say where is it coming and which nerve is getting affected. Then only we'll give injection or operate on that. So that is the intervertebral disc. A beautiful creation of nature again. Like I told you, the human body is full of, full of magical things. Don't look beyond. Human, human body, nature is best if you want to study. Now, how do we move? I said in the beginning, how do we move, walk, run, dance? Because we have motion segment. Motion. Like you have car or motorcycle or bus or whatever flight. So we have to have a motion segment. Then only we will move from one spot A to spot B. What does your motion segment mean? Means two vertebra above and below, disc in the middle, knob roots above, below, and at the level of the disc, and then the joints. They said, you see the joint? This is this vertebra, this is that vertebra. So there is a facet joint, and these are the spine. This is the back, posterior is back. This is towards the tummy, is anterior. So this makes a motion segment. So this is where the forward bending, lateral bending, rotation, a range of movement I told you, ROM, this is where it happens. And of course, our very beautiful muscles, muscles are there. So you have to build up your muscle, do regular exercise. Muscles, muscles are very important to keep the body moving because you, you have energy, you eat, you exercise, you give good balanced diet, the muscles become stronger and then move it. Who else will move it? Motion segment. Now, people say, sir, he had sciatica, I think. Sciatica means what? Sciatica means sciatic nerve pain. In medicine, a lot of interesting words that we all know and love to remember. Right from our first year anatomy classes, Dr. Roy and me, we were one year apart. And when he was finishing anatomy, I was looking up to, uh, up to him. And passing anatomy is very tough because you have to remember so many things, A to Z of the body. Now, sciatica, sciatic nerve pain. Why it happens? This is the sciatic nerve. Mainly it is L4, 5, S1. Of course, 2, 3, 4 are there. So this is what this you see L4 means this is L4 vertebral body. This is the L4 5 disc. This is L5. So this is these are the roots. And look, there is a diagram showing this disc is out. The jelly I told you, jelly is the annulus of the ring is broken. The jelly is out and it's cut to the nerve here. Which is called exiting nerve, and this is called traversing nerve. Now look at this picture. This is very interesting, friends. What is the relationship of intradiscal pressure and posture? Look at this. Suppose you lie down all the time, then there will not be pressure on your disc. But you cannot lie down all the time. See, the four-footed animals, because they are in this position most of the spine is, so they don't have slip disc. They have, but not as much as we have. Because remember, when we are standing and bending forward, Maximum pressure. This is the pressure inside the disc. Pressure is maximum here while you are standing and forward bending. So when you are about to lift something from the floor, do not bend uh, in your spine. Please bend with your hip and knee. Because if you bend with your spine, then this bar, which is the pressure in the disc, goes up and the disc will come like a toothpaste. Sitting also is very high. See, even if you're sitting like this, the pressure in the, inside your disc, lumbar spine, or any other part of spine is very high. Standing like this, normal standing also high, but so what it means is that 
we have to pay the price for our erect posture. Okay. But if we become, if we do something silly, then we cause, so that much is increased pressure. So if the pressure in the disc increases, it can rupture and then the jelly will come out. So this is a bad posture. You're sitting in the work, workplace, less than 70 degrees. 90 degrees still bad. This is the best. You see, you yourself can understand. So these kind of chairs are called ergonomic chairs. Most of us, uh, while work, we're working, Dr. Roy, myself, and all of us, would like to have this kind of chair where the, this angle is 125 degrees. So in relation to the posture, if you see it yourself. If you sit like this the whole day, I bet when you go back home, you will have a backache, 100%. If you sit like this, you will have a lovely time. You work with full energy like Dr. Ra and myself. Of course, we don't sit, <laughs> we run around. But uh, this is the position in relation to your chair. So ergonomic chair, workplace. Now, the disc, if it is, look at this first picture. The disc is going, going, gone. And gone totally. So this is the jelly. Imagine this jelly come just about coming out. So here there is a bulge in the MRI. The disc regeneration. Degeneration means wear and tear. It is prolapsed because this is the ring. This is the jelly. The ring is broken here. This is prolapsed. Here the ring is intact. Degeneration. This is prolapsed. Extruded means out of the toothpaste is out of the toothpaste cover. Paste, this is paste. Here, sequestrate means part of the paste is already falling down into your basin. It's too late. It's too late and this particular person will have terrible nerve problem, paralysis of both legs and problem of passing urine and stool and also sexual function. So, this is extreme. Please do not wait. So, problem start, starts and progresses if not stopped. So we have to stop it from here. Even this is painful. We give injection, physiotherapy, medicines. I'll tell you the different steps. So this is the normal route. So these are this is the back side, this is the front side of a diagram showing which nerve root supplies. So I told you, neurology is mathematics. This is what we ask our examin uh, examinees. We have DNB program in neurosurgery for last five years, and we are having our exam of the third year shortly next week, 24th. So here they, we will show them picture. Tell us, what is this? So this way, if it goes, there is a weakness. Then this is this L4. This, so I told you the nerve roots, L4, 5, S1, sciatica. So this is how we diagnose. This way it is not going. You ask the patient to walk on the toes. He cannot. See, one, one foot is not able to get up right side, is not able to lift the foot. So that is L5. And then in S1, you cannot walk like this. It's like the ballet. The ballet, ballet is S1. We call ballet. See? If, if a person is doing like this, there is no problem, then there is no S1 problem. So many times we examine patients to rule out the nerve root problem and we examine friends. There are two types of doctors. One group of doctors always sees the MRI scan and then see the patient. The other group sees the patient, listen to the patient's story completely, however time it may take. Sometimes patients do not know what to say to the doctors. They will divert you, but you have to keep them right. It's the driver. It's like the car, the car will move to one side, but you have to steer it. So if you steer your patient's history, friends, it is always important and always. I never see any CT scan, MRI scan, never. Because patients do not know they come, sir, this is the uh, report I have got. I said, no, nothing to Keep the report away. Please tell me, why are you coming today? What is your problem? What is your profession? How old are you? What happened to you? They saw full history, full clinical examination. So this is a patella hammer, we call it, or knee hammer. So we have various instruments. This is measurement. Because if you leave the S1 disc problem too long, 
then the calf will be become thinner. Many people come, sir, mera pair abhi patla ho gaya. My, my calf has become thinner on one side. I have been having pain, but I thought it is this gas and other. So many people say everything happens from the gas. It's not always gas. Of course, gas is a problem. I'm not belittling the gas fact. For that, you have to have control over the diet. Itself. But this is not gas. This is a nerve problem. This is this nerve, S1 nerve. And because the ankle jerk is absent and this is what. So we have various methods of examining the patient. I'm not showing your MRI yet. I will. They all examine us. Very important when we studying MBBS. Thus MRI was not there. CT scan in Kotak Medical College, when Dr. Roy and myself were studying. CT scan came very early in India. I think ours was the third CT scan in the country. And when I was doing my neurosurgery training in Chandigarh, PGI, there was one MRI scan for the whole of the country. Can you believe it? But yes, I'm sure all of us have seen the improvement, the transition, and the development of technology, which is... So nowadays, it is a luxury for me to be a neurosurgeon. When I was training in MCH in 1980s, oh God, Dr. Roy knows he was in All India Institute, I was in PGI. The training was extremely hard and a lot of physical work, run around. You carry your own instruments, you carry your own lumbar puncture, you do lumbar puncture yourself, you do carotid artery puncture yourself. So in our apron, the two front brackets, top pocket, the top pocket, there will be a small book, notebook. So we had to have all this clinical acumen. So even if we have got everything in the world, like our operation theater, Dr. Roy, when we started the hospital said, buy everything that is state of art today. For spine, we have navigation. For brain, we have navigation. But if the navigation fails, I know what to do because I have been trained from the basic, basics, basics of medicine. So coming back to our neurological examination, look, this is what is happening. The, this, the knob root on the left side is red. When we operate on a slip disc like this, because see the jelly is here, out. This is the nerve. These are the nerve on the left side. The person comes with agonizing pain on the left side because it's like a nail going into that nerve root. So it is called lumbar disc herniation or in layman's term, it's called slip disc because the disc has slipped out. And this nerve is angry, red. Red means congested. A lot of blood congestion is there because it is pinched. So this unfortunate and poor nerve is pinched between the bone and the disc. Unless so we do endoscopic discectomy, microscopic discectomy. I will show you some pictures. So we remove this and also we get into the disc first to clear this because once the jelly is out and the ring is damaged, this is the ring, the damaged here, you see, there's a break. It's called annular stair. Once it is damaged, it is not going to heal. Once the disc is damaged, it is not going to come back. It is only once. God has given only the, lump, the discs only once. That's it. There is artificial disc, but that is artificial, no? Not normal, not natural. Nature is best. And this is what happens. A huge amount of this goes right in the center. That was on the left side. This is when it goes in the center, you see all these cigarettes or the nerve roots rather you get completely compressed. The patient I saw today earlier has got this. That is why he lost the control of his urine bladder, urinary bladder and stool. He is coming with the huggies. He's uh, 38 years old. And his relative doctor from London Doctor, uh, I don't want to name him, he's going to join us soon in Ranchi. He calls me, says, please operate. So I'm admitting and up. So there is no other alternative. Surgery, 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 microsurgery. Because suppose somebody is lying under a, unfortunately, under a car, you have to remove him, na? You cannot say I'm medicine may take control. And this is called a coda, means tail, equina means hearse. These nerve roots are like the hearse tail, you see. Imagine yourself. The tail of the hearse, beautiful tail of the hearse. 
it is medical there is a lot of beautiful names given from nature and so it is called coda equina syndrome i have written today i wish i could have shown you the prescription of the patient i am talking about coda equina syndrome emergency surgery is the patient still not consenting otherwise i will operate tonight they are trying to organize their admission etc but we will organize and do it emergency surgery so coming to prevention is better than cure friends i have already told during the course of my showing you the beautiful pictures to make you understand only lifestyle changes are number one diet exercise weight control i can never get tired in saying this thing to all my listeners all my audience wherever i go i start with this diet exercise weight control good posture we saw, saw some pictures protective seat belt while driving my posters on the road side following driving rules please for heaven sake all those people joining tonight please please follow driving rules back care avoid lifting squatting like niche palti mar ke baithna squatting is bad for the knees for the hips for the back i mean when we are young it's okay because everything is flexible but when when you are growing older like us or you know many of us you have a problem squatting so puja karna hai to you sit down on the stool and put the altar of the god higher kya farak padta god is there everywhere there is one small example god is everywhere because there was a man who was drinking every day so once he was drinking on the steps of masjid then the maulvi sahab comes and ask him bhai you are having drink here you are alcohol this is not right hey people so he says ya to bata de mujhe kahan khuda nahi hai ya mujhe mujhe idhar pine de so god is everywhere and if you look at nature you will find the principles of living in nature you look at trees you look at other animals ants bismarck road a beautiful thing about ants how active they are you have to be active you have to have full energy in life do something be passionate and look after your health look after your back now the normal treatments for back ache is physiotherapy i told you we have a beautiful physiotherapy both in outpatient and inpatient we have also also got associated with poti as to help you at home a good company that have good network we have also home uh, home care and we have partnered with so this is what we do under dr raj leadership that we partner with good companies to give best advantage to our patients to outreach outside the hospital so uh, basically you need spine extension back muscle strengthening exercises uh, various machines we have in our physiotherapy department that our we have very big physiotherapy department almost 60 workers Doctor Roy may correct me if I am wrong later. So and then local heat give. So there is there is always a confusion. Sir, warm sec dena hai, thanda sec dena hai. I will tell you a simple principle. If you have injury, it is always cold, deep cold or ice pack. If the pain is due to long standing problem or a disc prolapse, please use. or local heat so i repeat if it is acute injury it is cold or ice pack if it is chronic degenerative pain please use local heat you can use a hot pad or even dry heat don't put hot water on it you get burned or scalded it and then local ointments you know everybody carries one nowadays as it should be there in a, if you are having back ache please have a small bag uh, you know like the airport bag or uh, sorry the flight bags or our hospital medical bags in the bag you can put various uh, small little things i tell you one of them is a low heat pad and then a ointment and then some paracetamol tablets and some nasal spray i use nowadays for pain i will tell you later be careful of massages so lot of people say eh, massage kar dega sir but 
Do they know how to do massage? The massage has to be medical massage. Don't give your spine to anybody who will do, you know, the napit barber, sometimes you like this, like this. A person can die from that. And some of us, some, I mean, of course, now much less, do like this themselves. Why you are damaging your own spine? So sudden manipulation by untrained person or yourself is very, very bad for the spine. The massage must be medical. We have massage people here in physio. Medicines should be minimum, like paracetamol or similar. And we have, of course, tramadol, tramazac, combination, various. Nowadays, our pharmacy, of course, in, hospital, in our medica, we have regulated most of the departments, especially pharmacy. You cannot just write this medicine, that means so it has to be generic medicine. You have to prescribe, write in capital letters. We have e-prescription. That way, remember that the doctor's handwriting is the most difficult thing to read in the world. So if anybody writes small letters in our hospital, it is simply not allowed. We have to write capital letters. So medicines have to be prescribed generic. Combination of medicine is okay, but not really. So if you need a muscle relaxant like Tynazidine or you know chlorodiazine, there are so many muscle relaxants are there. Or Synaptol. I'm just sorry saying brand name, but I don't subscribe to any company. So analgesics best is paracetamol. Diclofenac is another beautiful analgesic, but be careful because diabetic and old age, asthma. So all these strong painkillers are bad for the stomach and also for the other systems, respiratory system, diabetic people, kidney will be damaged. You keep on taking, one of my very close friends, Dr. Roy would remember, I don't want to take the name, died from analgesia and nephropathy. He was a beautiful singer. He used to sing all Rafi songs and I used to play on the tabla on the table, tablist. And he died from uh, analgesic nephropathy. He was taking, he had a hip fracture. He fell down from the, this thing and uh, top and then he was going for a hip surgery but he was too young that is when we were in MBBS. He died of renal failure. He had a transplant but didn't survive. Anyway, so don't abuse medicines please. Any medicines. And then the last line if you can read pregabaline, amitriptyline, antidepressants. Very specific for specific indications. What is next? If medicines, physio, lifestyle doesn't work we have various specialist injection around nerve root, facet joint. I'll show you some pictures because this will be Greek and Latin to most of you, those who are not on medical side. And if this is not working, then you must see us. We will do X-ray, MRI, CT scan. Sometimes MRI is not possible because the person has a pacemaker, person has certain prosthesis, but there is a misconception that if you have a Replacement in the hip and knee, MRI cannot be done, can be done. Because most of the prosthesis nowadays are titanium and non-magnetic. So please don't go and then always ask the radiology department. And we have very open, beautiful radiology department, all the facilities for you. So to do uh, MRI, high, very high quality MRI, CT scan, etc. And also densitometry for uh, osteoporosis, poor uh, bone quality. And PET scan we are going to have very soon in our cancer center. But that is only when we suspect cancer. But that is very, very rare. Please don't get frightened by this word. Uh, and just don't listen to anyone. And if it requires surgery, we are there. This is one MRI. This is the brain. This is the spinal. This is the spinal cord starting from head. This is the neck, the spine, the neck. And this is spinal cord. I just follow one tracing here. So the gray area is the nerves all the way. So that's the gray up to here. So you will say, well, sir, what happens after this? So this is where the nerve roots are coming out. It's called the cauda equina. The spinal cord finishes at the level of L2 or L1 lower end. Here, this is the lumbar spine. God has created in such a way because this is a very mobile part of the spine, the back. 
you know that we see it, we dance, we walk with. So if there is a fracture or injury, at least the spinal cord is escaped. The spinal cord, proper spinal cord, where all the nerve cells are there. There is nerves there all the way. See, up to here also there are nerves. But the spinal cord ends here because this part is very mobile. And God has protected this beautifully by not giving a spinal cord here. So that is, we call it T2. This is the same in T1. So MRI is a beautiful uh, discovery, especially for neurosurgery, neurology. A wonderful this has made our life so easy and so scientific. You can see everything here. The body, the disc, the spinal cord. I showed you the pictures in the model. You can see it's like a model, but it's a, somebody's MRI. So here we count the level C2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then thoracic or, or the middle of the spine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and lumbar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the sacrum and the tailbone. So this is Counting is important, otherwise you do a long, wrong level operation and do double problem and won't address the main problem if you are in the wrong level. It is not, it is a culpable, it is criminal, not allowed. That's why all the time when we are training our juniors, we are there, scrubbed with them, what level we take x-ray with CR or O on, whatever you have. You see that this is a disc prolapse and this is normal, this is L5, this is L4. So I would say L45 PIVD, prolapse intervertebral disc. And see what is happening. The white thing is a jelly. See that? The jelly is out in the spinal canal. This is where the spinal cord or the, rather the nerves. You see this nerve? The grayish thing is the nerve. It has been pinched by this. Like I showed you in the model. Obviously this person we have a L4 nerve root pair. This is L4 nerve root. This is L4. So this is L5 nerve root, this is S1 nerve root, that is L4. Anyway, that is mathematics, don't worry about it. We know what to do. So this is the normal disc, MRI. This is the bulging disc, I told you, going, gone, and this is herniated. So this is gone, going and gone. Lowest disc always gets the maximum brunt because if you see gravity, our center of gravity from the top, if I draw like this, it goes like this. That is why maximum force from the body, if somebody is overweight, is on these two discs. L4, 5, L5. Another level, this is axial disc. See that disc? Far lateral hernia. Now, I'm not going to. So these are the disc prolapse images. See that disc? Everyone can appreciate. Everyone. So if I see a patient like I've seen today, so many, every day I see patients. Some of them require surgery, not all of them. Lakshmi will have to wrap it up. Yes, sir. I'm just finishing. So, use this, and this is what we do: injection, and this is what we do: uh, microsurgery by fenestration. Little bit of bone sometimes needs to be taken to go to the. Otherwise, how would you go? The operation will relieve the moment the operation over. Patient comes out of anesthesia. He will say, "Sir, thank you for saving my life. My pain is gone." You have to wait to listen to the patient after surgery. This is how we operate. We take some instruments, endoscopy or microscopy, and remove the jelly. See? So, what happens when you have a wrong level, wrong operation? It is called failed back syndrome. By I always say it is a failed surgeon syndrome. The surgeon did a mistake, which is not again allowed. So, this is. So this is just to show the artificial disc, which is we very rarely do for lumbar spine, but we do for cervical spine. So friends, we have the Da Vinci robot, I'm sure with time, uh, but at the moment, other than putting screws in the spine, we use the robotic surgery for our brain, but we have navigation, etc. So thank you very much. Sorry to go overboard, sir, uh, for time. I'll give it back to you. For any questions and discuss. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Lakshmi. You all will agree that, like a school teacher, he taught us about uh, the spine and what can go wrong with the spine. And uh, if we don't have much time, we are already cro crossed our scheduled one hour. But then a few points I'll bring out that he mentioned that most of the problem of spine is our creation. 
and something very interesting struck me that most of us think that sitting 90 degree, sitting straight and erect is a good for our spine. Where he said that no, the ergonomically useful chair is, which is bent backward, which is uh, where you have a little bit of a relaxation about 100, 125 degree is something where spine is most at rest. So all those people who have been thinking that uh, a yogic posture where you sit straight is the best is not truly really the best as science has proved beyond doubt. One more thing he said that it is very easy to find out and correct it if you live a good life. If you lead a good life, you control your diet, your exercise, you are active, take some precautions. When you, most of the time your pain is because you bend forward, not from the hip or from the knee, you bend forward from the spine. Spine can't take so much of weight. So the, as you said, that jelly comes out and pinches on a nerve and you have a pain. But not to worry, it can be adjusted mostly with the physiotherapy and rarely by surgery or by certain other precautions. And he also said that, the, uh, which is very relevant, that don't take, though he said very lightly, but he had all the serious intention. He mentioned how he lost his friend, that don't take medicine for a long time. If you take medicine for a long time, especially the painkillers, it hurts you in various ways. Though they do reduce your pain, but they hurt you big time. So, and he lost a very good batchmate of his, I remember whom he's talking about, whom he lost because he took so much of energy six that his kidneys packed up and he died because of kidney failure. So friends, spine is for the life. If you have a spine, you are good philosophically and good physiologically and physically. A good spine is a great value to longevity. And now, you maintain it is in your hand. Last tips which he gave, which I like to repeat, he said that if you have acute injury, cold. Put cold and ice cold. And if you have a serious uh, uh, chronic injury, use hot. So he has given a tip that uh, good posture, good diet, good exercise, on acute, cold, on uh, chronic, hot. And also he has said that if they need be, we can operate on you and make sure that uh, uh, you lead a happy life. He said that the relief is dramatic. Of course, uh, th there are very few. I'm not trying to, he has spoken a lot of time about my name. I'm not speaking a lot about him, but I know him for the last 45 years. A surgeon of his repute, I haven't seen in my lifetime, and I've seen a lot of surgeons. So he's very methodical, very... Sometimes it's methodical to the level of being slow, but that is only for providing you a good care. Now, next week, you will hear a physiotherapist view of how to live your life if you're a What can be done? What exercises can be done? As a sequel to this episode, we'll bring you one of the a good physiotherapists who will tell you how to lead a healthy life with a backache and how to get back to your life post backache by doing some simple exercises routinely, regularly, where they strengthen your back. So you don't get better, you never get the backache again. With this, with small tips, I'm sorry, we crossed our uh, uh, time, but then when I give mic to Lakshmi, he speaks so beautifully that I hate to stop him. And uh, he did a great job, you all will agree. Have a nice weekend. Live well. We want you to stay happy and healthy. That's why we bring these tips to you. Thanks to Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry for being our stakeholder and Rotary Club of Calcutta Vienna for being part of us. We are obliged to both of you. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. Namaskar. Thank you.